Hey, what's up guys? Andre here. I'm in London in a hotel room and you're watching Expose. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen Gerhardt. Next week's Thanksgiving. Who's excited? Not really me because it's all about eating like meat and animal products and I'm also allergic to cranberries. So basically the only thing I can eat that's vegan friendly is like mashed potatoes. They are delicious though. Welcome to Expose. Let's jump right into the news, beginning with our Paul Wilson. His short film, The Magic Box, has been nominated for Short Film of the Year on IndieDemand.com. That cam. There's only one day left to vote, so head over to the IndieDemand.com website and vote for it now. Support. Love. Magician. Brother in love. And sis sister in love. Oh, that's a good word. David Copperfield was a guest at the Tech Cocktail Celebrate Conference. It's a strange title. His talk with Ben Parr on entrepreneurship is now up on YouTube, and I highly recommend checking it out. It talks about becoming a billionaire. If there's any clue in it at all as to how to own multiple islands, it's worth your time. That's what I'm saying. According to the Futon Critic, Masters of Illusion has not only been renewed for a brand new season, but The CW will also air four unaired episodes starting January 9th. Super exciting. Get stoked. Also, in more CW news, Penn & Teller Fool Us has been renewed for a new season. No air date on that yet, but we'll keep you posted. Very exciting times. That's all for me this week, guys. I hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. I will see you after Thanksgiving on Black Friday. That sounds so depressing, but it's not. It's actually really awesome because then you get to buy stuff at like super discounted prices. I'm a girl. Bye. Yo, what's up guys? I'm Jonathan Bame and welcome back to Expose. This past week on Tuesday, Andre Jick and Blake Voigt from our team traveled across the pond. I don't really know why people call it a pond. It's a ocean. To London. England uh, to start working on a top secret project. It's a very large challenge. It's something that we're really excited to be a part of, but I'm not yet at liberty to discuss. So stay tuned to Expose in the weeks and months ahead for more details on what that is and best of luck to Andre and Blake on this adventure. And in totally different and completely unrelated news, this past week on Thursday, director John Chu posted a photo on Instagram of our Monarch playing cards, our Monarch playing cards. This is super exciting to see. John Chu, if you're not already familiar, is a big Hollywood director. He's done G.I. Joe, um, the Step Up series. He directed the Justin Bieber documentary. And currently he is working on the sequel of the magic heist film, Now You See Me. Uh, the sequel is gonna be starring Woody Harrelson, um, Michael Caine, um, Morgan Freeman, Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter, uh, Jesse Eisenberg, the list goes on and on. We're really excited to see that. The sequel comes out in June of 2016, so mark your calendars now. Also this past week in Monarch News, our friend Ryan Oakes, a magician in New York City, was featured in the Wall Street Journal. The article had two photos within it, both of which featured our Monarch playing cards. So special thanks to Ryan Oakes for the plug and congrats to him for the much deserved attention and continued success. Now, behind the scenes, we've got so much going on right now. We're preparing for Black Friday, which is next Friday, the 28th of November. We've got a lot of secrets and surprises and new releases and contests in store, not just for Black Friday, but for the entire holiday season, but it all kicks off next Friday, which is the 28th. So join us next Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Expose, Check Theory 11, and you'll see our new releases and our plans and our contest for the holiday season. We've got a lot of secrets and surprises in store again for the whole holiday season, but it all kicks off next Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So join us then. You definitely will not want to miss it. Last week on Expose, we asked you guys to tell us what is the most rare deck that you have in your collection? 560 comments later, you guys answered. We've chose two of these comments at random. Two of you will be taking home a sealed deck of rare bit copper edition playing cards shipped on the house anywhere in the world. These decks, these rare bit decks are currently unreleased until next Friday, but two of you will be taking home a deck today ahead of time. Uh, those two winners are Nimeth Chanson on YouTube and Kevin Rusty in the media section at Theory 11. So Nimeth Chanson or Kevin Rusty, contact our support team to claim your prizes. And last but not least, our comment contest. Now throughout this episode, 
I've been shuffling a deck of these. This is the new rare bit copper edition playing cards. Uh, these will be releasing on Black Friday next week at 11 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna give it a few more cuts and perhaps one more shuffle, fair shuffle. And this is a full deck and maybe a few more cuts. And I'm gonna take one card at random off the top of the deck, hold it out like so. And your challenge this week on Expose is to tell me what card am I looking at? This is one card pulled off the top of a shuffled deck. So post your guess in the comments below on Theory 11 or on YouTube. Tell me what card I am looking at. We're gonna be choosing two people, two people at random who post the correct card and you'll be taking home a deck of rare bit copper edition playing cards shipped on the house anywhere in the world. So post your guess in the comments below on Theory 11 or on YouTube. Good luck and we'll see you guys on Black Friday.